follow up to the bomb making babysitter we told you about yesterday at five o'clock. The online service Joshua Lapine Bertona used to get jobs dropped him from their registry. Rod Carter is live with details tonight. Hey, Rod. Yeah, hey, Josh. I actually called that and emailed that service, care.com, yesterday to ask them about that uh, bomb making babysitter, if you will. And today they finally got back to me and they told me that he has essentially been dropped from their site. Joshua Lapine Bertone is out of jail and out of a job, or at least Care.com, the service that connected him with people who needed babysitters, has dropped him. This week, he was arrested after deputies say he let a 10-year-old boy he babysat for years set off acid bombs in this Tampa park. Today in an email, Care.com told me, quote, the safety of our community is of paramount concern to us, and we are deeply disturbed by this incident. They went on to say Mr. Lapine Bertone did have a profile on Care.com that we have since closed. Care.com explained in the email how they work, saying that they are an online community that enables families and caregivers to connect and that they do not employ any of the providers on the site. They went on to tell me that as a safety precaution, they run a verification check against a multi-jurisdictional criminal database and state sex offender registries on all providers. They say those checks came back clear for Lapine Bertone. Psychologist Dr. Stacy Schechner told me even with those added checks, it is still important for parents to do their due diligence. You have to talk to your kids. What did you guys do today? How did you feel? You should talk to your children. If you feel that the person is doing something inappropriate, you need to share that. Tonight, Lapine Bertone is facing a number of charges, including child neglect. Important to mention that Care.com has been around since 2007. Josh? Yeah, it is a pretty popular site. So what else do they do to make sure that these people that look to their site for service are kept safe in this instance? Yeah, you know, they want to stress that they're all about safety, the safety of the uh, parents out there who are looking for these caregivers. So they have a whole list of things on their website that you can ask, uh, questions you can ask about ways to make sure that the person you're choosing is safe. And they say they do their due diligence as well. They wanted to reiterate, that though, that they do not actually hire anyone. Those folks do not work for them. It's just kind of a community to bring those two sides together to meet. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about your kids, so uh, very important Nothing there. Important. You got Rod it. Carter, live in Tampa. Thanks, Rod.